How to launch an NFT collection for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can launch your own NFT collection as a beginner. So let's get into it. Now, the first step to joining the NFT game is to create your NFT. And NFTs could be anywhere from photos to illustrations, sketches. Any art medium is basically a NFT nowadays, but the most common art NFTs are definitely illustration and design. So you can can take a look at uh, art, uh, pixel art, photography, but pixel art is probably one of the highest selling ones. So it's a hot field to start creating your own pixel art NFTs. And NFTs basically are is that they are non fungible tokens. So there is not a replacement for a NFT. Like a NFT is one of a kind design. It's like having a original art piece without having it in a physical form. So you can take a look at different marketplaces to gauge and get a better estimate of what the audience is like but a lot of the times nfts are most popular in the form of collections so you can see you have these chum chums nft collection and this is basically you know obviously the same character design is repeated in different forms so you can take a look to get some inspiration on how to begin designing your collection and what you're basically going to do is you're going to create a collection probably of uh, five to ten initial nfts to get started the reason for that is you're going to be able to surround it with more hype uh, if you're able to upload or generate your collection together instead of having to do it separately and in that way it will seem like oh you're an artist you or you do this work frequently this is not just a one-off thing for you so what you're going to do is you're going to use any kind of illustration platform if you are very new to everything you can go on to canva.com and you can create your nft over here but if you want to create pixel art then you're going to go on to pixelart.com it's p-i-x-i-l art.com and you can go over here to start a drawing without even having having to sign up so you can just go on to this so you can see i've made this pixel art nft but you can just go on clear and clear this or you can just click on new and you can just take a canvas of any size and the best part about creating pixel art nfts using pixel art is that you can go within uh, with a let's say 10 by 10 inch and you might be wondering 10 by 10 is a very small canvas size how can i convert this into like a proper nft well uh, what you're going to do is you're going to just design your nft so let's say i'm just going to make an emoji with this because there's not a lot of options with 10 by 10 obviously but i'm just going to make a smiley face so i'm just going to take the pencil tool fill it out like this so i'm just going to fill everything out over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a background color of yellow it's going to fill all of these out and I'm going to show you guys how you can actually increase the size of your NFT on pixel art. So you can design any more complicated designs on a slightly larger frame. I don't recommend 10 by 10. I actually recommend 30 by 30. 30 by 30 really functions well and it enables you to create complex designs without actually having to, you know, spend hours. It takes like 15 minutes to generate like a cool interesting yet detailed nft with a 30 by 30 size but let's say this is just like my base nft if i go on to download and i click on download png and i open this up you can see this is how tiny it is how do i increase the size well you're just going to drag this bar drag this over here so you can see you can easily make it any height and width you want so let's say i want to go with a thousand uh 10 10 by 10 10 and now i download png open this png and you can see i have this entire nft in a larger frame size and a larger frame size basically means higher quality so you can design pixel art nfts like this to start your nft journey or you can even go with canva click on custom size click on inches instead of pixel go with a 12 by 12 size canvas and then you can just go into the element section you can find quite a few different graphics available on canva you can just click on elements you can search for it. and now you can see there are quite a few options you can you know add some backgrounds add some other stars and illustrations and then your nft is going to be ready now once your nft is ready how do you actually begin making money and minting your nft because minting is the second step to any nft well in any kind of marketplace and what minting basically that does is that it enables your nft to be legitimized it's just the simplest way of saying it and minting is obviously not free 
for minting, you're going to have to create your crypto wallet. And you can see uh, I have a MetaMask wallet installed on my Google Chrome bar. You can download any kind of extension you want for wallet. I recommend MetaMask because it's easy. And what it's going to cost you to actually mint your NFTs, it's a very small amount of money. And with platforms like OpenSea, you can actually make the person purchasing your NFT pay the minting fees and minting fees are paid in GUI. they're not paid in ethereum and one GUI is equal to like 0 0.e so you don't have to worry about those too much now to get started with uploading uh your little nft collection you're just going to go on OpenSea, create an account and then you're just going to click on create over here and you can see it is asking me for a signature request on my metamask account and it's going to ask you that as well you just have to link your crypto wallet whatever crypto wallet you might be using and now you can just click on this upload your nft over here and then you're going to add your name and then you can add an external link if you have like any website de detailing your nfts then you're going to provide a detailed description and i cannot emphasize this enough make sure you're providing a detailed description the reason for that is people are more interested when they know more about the artwork you're no da vinci people don't know who you are people don't know about your artwork and you have to tell people what this is what it means what were the themes was happening when this nft was created and all that stuff and then after that you have your collection so i only have created one but obviously you are going to add a collection so you can add five six nfts at a time and then you have certain things like properties level stats unlockable content and explicit and sensitive warning so uh, if you have a certain numerical trade that show as a progress bar in your nft collection then you can add levels and then if you have numerical traits such as show up as numbers you can add stats as well and then you can also make this a unlockable content this is something for more established artists that i recommend that you can make your content locked and when the person purchases your nft then they are actually able to see what the actual content of the nft is and then Obviously, if you have explicit items in your NFT, then turn on the explicit and sensitive content. So after that, once you have done all of this, you're just going to click on continue. And then you're just going to verify that you're not a robot like this. So we're just going to verify this. And now you're just going to click on verify. And now you can see I have just created the bit smiley and this is what it, what it's looking like. You can click on sell to begin the minting or selling process. And that is how you create your NFT collection. Now, another very important step that you have to do with any NFT collection launch is that go on to nftcalendar.io. So what this basically is, is that this is a platform where people are talking about the latest NFT drops. So you're just going to list your event and list your own nft collection launch you can add some hype around it or also go on to twitter so twitter is also another great platform for nft users and nft creators because twitter has a very active nft community and you can see a lot of people are very active on twitter with nfts just follow the nft hashtags and promote your own nft collection on both of these platforms market yourself correctly because you don't want to seem like you're being too pretentious but you want people to get your name and know that your collection is coming so they are anticipating and excited for this collection so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video